two outs nobody on and Christian Yelich coming up. Yelich with a double to start the rally in the eighth. Doubled off the left hander Lions. Still looking for his first Brewer home run. Braun do next. And if Braun bats the Brewers will bring the go ahead run to the plate. By the way Ryan Braun has two home runs off Dominic Leone. Can Yelich get him there. There's a strike one and one. Brewers were down to their last strike in San Diego when Braun hit the go ahead home run. And they're down to their last strike here at Miller Park. One and two the count two outs. Fastball or slider what's it going to be. He's had success with both the one two and Yelich takes a ball that tied up Molina. That looked more like a curveball there. Eighty four miles yeah. an hour. Yeah. Trying to breaking out everything to get through this inning. Doing a lot more fastballs. That's a spinner. He took a little bit off of it. More of a slider than a cutter. Two and two. Here he comes. And that one's deep. Right center. Christian Yelich has tied it up. Twice with the Brewers down to their last strike already this year, coming up with a monster home run. This time it's Christian Yelich down the gauntlet he goes. I'm telling you that cut fastball not nearly as effective. Right in the wheelhouse of Christian Yelich and he knocked it out of here. Check it out, here it is. Ends up down and in. Actually left it up a little bit and there she goes. Right in the wheelhouse. Yelich squares it at four. Now it's Braun who swings and launches. That's his way back. And that is your ball game. Oh, wow. Here's Christian Yelich. Hey, you don't play a ton of four game series, but you have to go back to August of 2008 against the Nats. Mm, that's something. That's uh, and they did uh, they swept the Phillies three years ago. It was in Philadelphia, late June, early July. But yeah, it's rare air. Brewers had that opportunity here today. It's just so difficult to sweep. You know any team even in a three game series. I mean you know these teams you know you run into a hot pitcher. We've been talking about that but the sweep of four game series that's something else. They got some work to do but they're in position to do it. Two convincing wins and then the come from behind thriller last night. Two balls no strikes to Yelich. Took a call third strike in the first inning. You have the guys at the top of your order with an on base percentage of over 400. It's still April. We get it. This is what the uh, Brewers had in mind when they made the acquisition signing Kane to the free agent deal, the trade for Yelich. Guys who get on base, who don't strike out a ton. 
2 1 pitch to Yelich. That is hit hard into center field. Brinson will look up, and the Brewers take the lead. Christian Yelich with a bolt, and it's 2 to 1, Milwaukee. Well, that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> what do you got on uh, VR here? That's a, that's a good look. <laughs> you just wish they would loosen up a little bit down what, there. What guys doing their days off, right? Williams in any category, you should feel pretty good about Amazing, that. Amazing, isn't it? Wow. That's a pretty good team. Red Sox? Oh. I guess. They are... Uh, Jumped out a lot to a 17 and 2 start <laughs> to their year. They're 22 and 8 now. Yeah, right. Yep, it's early, but it looked like they're a pretty good team. Yeah, they're, they're not bad. They're not running away and hiding, though. The Yankees are just two and a half back. And Sophia showing us what Edwin Encarnacion did today. We'll see the Indians in the next homestand. Wonder what Albert wanted. <laughs> Just a little congratulatory phone call. Kind of like calling up, yeah. calling the clubhouse. And hitter to hitter. Is Edwin there? I'd like yeah. to talk to him. <laughs> nice day. <laughs> <laughs> Two balls, one strike to Kristen Yelich. Albert close to uh, 3,000 hits. Yeah, well, he does have Pujols is in that group with uh, four three homer games. Yelich gets into one. That's deep to right field, and that's not coming back. That's out of here. Christian Yelich with a drive into the seats, and the Brewers take a two to one lead. Yeah, he's starting to feel it again. He was real hot early in the season. He kind of tapered off a little bit. Now Yelich is starting to see it pretty well. Double to left, home run, a big fly to right. On a changeup, Brewers are getting much better swings on that changeup tonight. Second time they've seen him this year, and they had no chance at staying in the park. Here's Travis Shaw, or excuse me, Christian Yelich. <laughs> I'm just in a hurry to get the Shaw against as he hit one <laughs> nine miles in the first <laughs> inning. <laughs> Let's see if uh, Christian can hit one nine miles. <laughs> He's capable. Yeah. Tap back to the pitcher. There's Shaw. Thank you very much. One zero to Yelich. It takes guys a little bit longer to get ready to hit these days. See Travis in the hole. He's getting on, his, on all his armor. <laughs> it's yeah. a production, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the leg, the foot guard. He's got the gloves going. Helmet. Hey, it's all working. Yeah. Two balls, no strikes to Yelich. And there's a shot to right field. And it's gone. Christian Yelich with a rope. Another long ball for the Brew Crew, a 5 2 game. Well, you can't hit the ball any harder than that. I mean, every one of the home runs hit today have been just barreled up. In the last two line drive to Scalso now, Christian Yelich. The only question was that going to be high enough to get out of the ballpark? Check this out. What? Right, 89 miles an hour, middle in, cutter. See you later. You can't hit it any harder than that. Now the Brewers get those two runs back quickly. Hey, tonight's time of the game winner, Tom's Bar in Galesville, if they call the Brewers. By 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, they get 40 tickets to a Friday night game in the Miller Light Beer Pen. This offer courtesy of the Tavern League of Wisconsin and Miller Light. Brewers fans have made their voices heard tonight at Target Field. A lot of them are here. Christian Yelich takes a ball down and in. Yelich is 0 for 3 tonight. 
couple of outs in the air last time up grounded out to the pitcher. One and one. Both of these managers rolling out their best bullpens in this 4 4 game. Two balls and a strike on Yelich. Swing and a high drive in the left center. Way back, and Christian Yelich has done it again. A go ahead home run in the eighth. <laughs> Yelich with number five. Opposite field blast. And it's 5 4 Milwaukee. Right, you have to hit him to get it out of here tonight. My goodness, that ball was crushed. Right, the home run ball, a big deal for the Brewers once again tonight. They've hit a couple of them. And they take the lead in the eighth. The nickname most people know him as was Hondo right mm -hmm. but he also had when he went to Washington all those great years uh, with the senators they called him the capital punisher <laughs> <laughs> nobody could hit a ball further than he could at old RFK Stadium they had some spots up there that Frank Howard had visited that no other baseball player had visited up there in the upper upper deck. Yeah, I mean way way back. The home run champ hit 40 multiple years in the big leagues, Frank Howard. So his path to the Brewers was what, Frank Howard, those years as the hitting coach? I know he was, uh, he managed, he managed what, the Mets, right? Yep. But he was a hitting coach in the, the years George Bamberger was managing. Yelich sends one deep to right. That's got a chance. It is gone. Tip your cap to Frank Howard. He didn't get jammed on a 2-0 pitch. Christian Yelich hits one out, and go. it's 2 nothing Brewers. Frank Howard is doing a dance somewhere. <laughs> well done, Christian. Well, you, you're patient at the plate to get yourself in the hitter's count, 2-0, and you take advantage of it. Boy, you see a lot of guys taking 2-0 these days, but not Yelich. Knocks that one out of here. Sixth home run of the year for Yelich. 24 RBIs now. He is on a great roll at the plate. As he faces this Milwaukee Brewers order in the bottom of the seventh. We stretched. We sit back down. Dan Plesak has been writing back to you in the comments section. First pitch swinging Christian Yelich. Watches it to center. He destroyed that baseball. It's gone, and this game is tied again. Just like that, tied right back up again. Christian Yelich muscles up for his seventh home run of the season. It's 2-2, and Bernie is going down the slide. That was jealous right there, not wasting any time, trying not to get behind, and uh, got a good fastball to hit. Went up there and uh, put the barrel on it. Tyler Lyons is Hugo brought in to face the lefty batter, Christian Yelich, who goes long for the second time this season against the Southpaw, seventh overall. Arietta with what, seven of them, I think? Six, seven in his career, including one over the weekend in, in San Francisco. Yelich sends one deep to center field, and Herrera will look up. Speaking of long balls, Yelich gets involved. Number eight on the year for Christian Yelich. First home run allowed in the short career of Arano. We just talked about no home runs. He just gave one up. Well, Yelich on the first pitch says it's a missile into center field. 94 miles an hour right down the middle. Christian Yelich with his second base hit, this time a home run. That's what you call center cut, right down the middle. And didn't waste it. 
He's hitting eight of those nine. Now Yelich in the air right field. That is deep. Williams is on the run, and it is gone! Christian Yelich with a two-run home run! The route is on. Three more runs are in. Yelich with his ninth home run of the season. And now 30 RBIs. Yep, and the Brewers drop a snowman on Arietta. And we're only in the fourth inning. Eight runs. Beautiful sunny day. A lot of kids at the ballpark today. Love to see it. And strike one to Christian Yelich. Who has homered off Weaver this year? Just three at bats against him. That was in that May 28th game. Yelich with nine home runs. He'll have a chance to set a new career standard for home runs in a season. That was the thought when the Brewers acquired him via trade. He pitched in or hit in a very pitcher friendly park in Miami throughout his career. Yelich's career high in home runs 21 did that in 2016 that was a silver slugger award year for Christian Yelich he's won a gold glove he's won a silver slugger yeah home runs are great but that's not his game that's not what he's thinking about when he goes up there he's thinking up the middle he stays on the baseball very well Yelich hammers one Deep left field. Way back. All tied. You were saying. That's what I would say. <laughs> Not thinking home runs, thinking up the middle, and he's able to knock one out of here way back and left. Boy, that was second deck. Opposite field for Christian Yelich. Down the gauntlet on the gauntlet bobblehead day. I mean, that's just good contact. I mean, head down, let the ball travel, and with the way it's carrying today, you don't have to really overswing. Nice catch out there in the second deck. That lasted one game. And then he hit third most of the rest of his career. So it is Yelich hitting in the three spot here tonight. Without Kane, no Shaw. Kane's on the disabled list. And Shaw is unavailable due to a wrist injury. They do not expect that to be lasting. But the Brewers will have this two game series with Kansas City and then off to Cincinnati. So at some point. If Shaw does not recover like they hope, I'm sure he is a DL candidate as well, which I know he's trying to avoid. Yeah, you got to shuffle it up a little bit when you have those two guys out of the lineup. This is the first time Yelich has been in a number three spot in the batting order this year. And it's typically been Braun, Aguilar, and Kane. Santana has a few games there. Into the opposite field on his way back. And Yelich sends one out of here. A two run home run. Opposite field smash by Christian Yelich. And the Brewers strike first here tonight. Doesn't matter where you hit, right? His last two home runs are to the opposite field, and Yelich down the gauntlet he goes. His 11th home run of the season, seven of those at Miller Park this season. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to do against a team that has scuffled. Part of the order coming up Yelich, Aguilar, and Braun. Yelich had a single in the third. Hits that one high and deep to center field. Taylor on the run. This one is gone. Chris
Christian Yelich ties it up. Number 12 on the year. Amazing success against lefties. Two hits tonight, a home run off of Clayton Kershaw. Yep, fastball right down the middle, down in the zone. That makes him 7 for 14 against Kershaw in his career. Amazing statistics. <laughs> that includes his last start when he was brilliant against the Mets, with six innings, only two hits in that game. Christian Yelich now. Tough to keep asking more out of Yelich. He has been so good. On base two more times tonight. A single and a hit by pitch. At the plate presented by Wendy's. He's hitting 414. Covering his last 58 at bats. So 24 hits in his last 58. And he sends that one deep to right center. Yelich watching this one fly. There she goes. Two run blast. Christian Yelich. And it's a one run game. Lightning strikes again for Yelich, who hits his 13th of the season. Can you get any hotter than he is right now? My goodness. Well, he says he's seeing the baseball well. I would agree. Down and in, 88. See you later. And the Brewers now down by one. <laughs> Buster Posey at second base. Christian Yelich, first pitch swing, and that's hit well to center field. Back goes Duggar, and this game is tied. Dead center field goes Christian Yelich, extending his hitting streak to 10, and more importantly, tying this game at 2. Yeah, he's been something else. Boy, center field around the left field line. He has been deadly. Some big hits, big home runs, curveball up in the zone. It was a hanger, and watch Christian. Didn't try and pull it. Dead center, 399 out there in dead center, but it plays a lot deeper than that and able to tie it up. Our Powerball home run count for Christian Yelich, number 14. And Sophia, and with that, the Brewers one game behind. Top of the order and a new pitcher on the mound for the Giants. Yelich will lead off. Ty Block now on the mound. They began the season in the starting rotation. They went three and five with a five earned run average and was moved to the bullpen. Appearance number 31. He has been uh, roughed up as of late. He's given up eight runs over his last nine appearances. Yeah, hitters 12 for their last 26 against the lefty. Two strikes and nothing lefty versus lefty here as Yelich sends one in the air. Left center field. It's hit well, and it is gone. A home run for Christian Yelich. Number 15 on the year, and it's 5 nothing Milwaukee. Oh, this guy is just unbelievable. I mean, the way he's been swinging about now since the All-Star break. Great council has been trying to figure out a time to give him a day off, but he just can't do it. I mean, if council would ask him if he wanted a day off, he'd look at him. Are you crazy? I want to stay in the lineup. <laughs> I'm swinging the bat. 15th home run. Powerball home run count. Another home run off a left-handed pitcher. Nothing seems to bother this guy right now. Yep. Happy birthday to Jeff Levering. Absolutely. Great guy and a terrific broadcast. Yeah. Good to see him a few times during the winter months when he's on his basketball circuit. BTN and Fox and FS1. Yeah, the uh, game notes today says uh, Brewers radio celebrity Jeff Levering <laughs> celebrates his 35th birthday today. That's Mike Vassallo's attempted at humor. 
He does like to refer to you as Brewers television personality. Here's Christian Yelich hits this one right on the button into right field and on a line. That's out of here. A rocket shot off the bat of Christian Yelich, and it's a 7 2 ball game. Really amazing success against left handers and amazing success against some of the best left handers in the game. Just killing left handers this year. Check this out. You know, fastball down and in and 88 miles an hour. He turns it around. I like to see the exit velocity on that baby. He smokes it. Home run number 16. 109 miles an hour off the bat of Christian Yelich. Abuse response programs. All right, Sophia, thanks. Stand behind that program 100%. Good work. Christian Yelich will lead off. The Brewers trailing now 3 to 1 and trying to solve the riddle of Herman Marquez. He's retired 15 in a row. Gave up a leadoff walk to Yelich in the first inning and then a walk to Kane. Mustakas then singled home Yelich. And that's been it. Yeah, nice curveball. The off speed stuff has been very good. He's locating fastball very well. Mid 90s fastball, pretty straight. A little two seam at once in a while, but yeah, I mean, he's been keeping the Brewers off balance. He's got Yelich in an 0 2 hole. Six strikeouts for Marquez. Has those two walks. And has been in cruise control from the windup since the first. Need a base runner to try to shake up some of the tempo of this starting pitcher. First three hitters reach, a couple of walks, and they hit, and that's been it. Yelich hit three homers on the road trip. Drove in six. Red hot. Had a 15 game hit streak. In the air, right center field. Hit well. That's back there. This one is going to fly. Home run, Christian Yelich. Three to two, Colorado, as Yelich goes deep. Number 17 on the year. Gonna have to start talking about Christian Yelich as an MVP candidate at this point. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, what he's been able to do at the plate. See, that's the way it's done right there. I, I, I felt very All nervous. All this time I was doing that. Look yeah. how good that sounded when you did I, it. I, I'm stepping into your world. That's that's your baby. Mm. Do I get to have another game tonight? At least I get that, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of mine. <laughs> I'm ready to help if you need it. I mean, one time. I mean, it just sings when you do it. <laughs> it sings something. <laughs> By the way, one more game for you, huh, partner? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow, and then, and then it's uh, back to Badger football. Yeah, you get rid of me after tomorrow. Uh, yes. On a camp. We're going to miss you. Yeah. We'll be watching. How are they going to be this year? I think they'll be pretty good, I think. Put all the pressure on them. Uh, a nice program going and Christian Yelich has a nice swing goal dead center and gone no doubt you cannot keep this guy down for long Christian Yelich going deep and the Brewers lead eight to three and second home run allowed by Phil Hughes a dead center that one way up off the batter's eye Well, the Brewers have the big bats out tonight. Five home runs. And they have a five run lead again. He's more platoon neutral for me because of the split in terms of left and right. There it is. When it's right, it tumbles like that. It doesn't matter whether it's a right handed hitter or a left handed hitter. Hitters see very few splits in the game, especially late. Out to center. Bader to the track. It is gone. That is a big time home run by Yelich. 
His 19th. Nothing cheap about that. Brewers trying to inch back into it. 6 2 St. Louis. Well, earlier I mentioned he's in the top 12 in all of baseball in terms of exit velocity. That's a good reason why. It's not a home run swing, it's just a pretty swing that produces a home run. Level cut, 92, middle, middle. Watch his finish. It's not a, whole, a high finish. Good top hand, so that's a level stroke. Three and five on the last road trip for the Brewers through Atlanta, Chicago, and St. Louis. Wild card race is tight. Plenty of teams could lay claim to that. Those two wild card spots. It's essentially a mathematical tie with the Rockies, Phillies, and Brewers starting play today. And then the Cardinals are just a half game back. They played one fewer game than Milwaukee. Yelich into the opposite field. That's way back. And this one is gone. Christian Yelich goes opposite field. The Blue Crew on the board here in this fifth inning. Uh, just incredible power to the opposite field. That way back, second deck, way back. And the Brewers off to Schneid. They get on the board. Home run number 20 for Christian Yelich. Yep, on a curveball that hung up in the zone right down the middle. Christian did not try and pull it. Takes it out of here way back in left center. Powerball home run count for Christian Yelich, number 22. Keeps his hitting streak alive at seven. Number 20. He's number 22. Robert Stevenson on the mound for the Reds and his first pitch in there for strike one. Now Stevenson making his third start since being called up from Louisville. He's 0 and 1. He's got five earned runs and five and two thirds innings. Shortest start of his career. He's actually appeared in two other different seasons for the Reds 16 in 2017. Inning in two thirds last time out. They're trying to clean up his mechanics a little bit and you'll notice that even though he's a starting pitcher he works from the stretch. There are a few starting pitchers doing that across baseball these days as Yelich fouls one away. Yelich with 20 homers on the season hit number 20 Monday night here opposite field home run. He's hitting 308, 20 homers, 62 RBIs, OPS of 890 coming into play today. Yelich having a great year. You can find him in the top 10 in the National League offensive categories, a lot of the major categories like runs and batting average, slugging percentage, total bases. He and Kane have plastic all over the leaderboards. One ball, two strikes to Yelich. Two and two. Look on Stevenson. Uh, early in the game, he's going to you know, establish the fastball. Then, for some reason, goes away from it quite a bit. Four pitch pitcher, curveball, slider, changeup. Does that split change as his off speed pitch. And Yelich fouls it away. He's only 25 years of age. He's had some opportunities in the big leagues, though. This, as Rock mentioned, his third season where he has big league time. Making his third start today of the year, but his 22nd major league start. This is his fifth appearance and second start against Milwaukee in his career. Yelich into center field hit well Hamilton on the run and this one is gone. Christian Yelich with a leadoff home run. Number 21. Bernie hits the slide early this afternoon. It's one nothing Milwaukee. Yeah, first inning has been good to the Brewers the last couple of days. 
Pulling the first yesterday and already on the board here this afternoon. Oh yeah, it's big power center field around the left field line. I would imagine the ball is going to travel pretty well today. It's one of those hitterish days you think. Brewers were swept in a five game series right before the All Star break. That still looms as the low ebb of the season. Now Yelich turns on one. That is way back and way gone. Oh, hits the scoreboard. Christian Yelich, a two run bomb. I think we have a good sense of the approach against Musgrove. Swing early. Who's going better than this guy in Major League Baseball right now? On base five times on Wednesday, four hits. First at bat tonight, hits a tape measure home run off the scoreboard. Who is not messing around against Musgrove? Attacking early, two pitches, a double home run, two to nothing. It's got to be the helmets. It's amazing, you know. Once Ryan Braun struck out in that inning, I, I think everybody thought that that was it. That was a chance. That's why you just never know. Have you ever heard that before? You just never know what you're going to see at a baseball game. You're saying there's a chance. Yeah. And there was last night. Crazy. <laughs> yep. The plate appearance heard around Milwaukee last night. Jordan Lyles. Yelich is swinging a miss. Sophia's got more on the Lyles. Plate appearance. I'm sure he's feeling good about it today, Sophia. Well, he certainly was. He reminded us of that message from Craig Council. Go up there, and he said, "I was auto taking until it was a full count." So he was one pitch away. He drew the walk <laughs> on three one. But uh, certainly, Craig Council spoke. He said about the emotions of that at bat. He said, "You know, you feel pretty good about it. There was life back at the building. You've got runners at first and second. Ryan Braun up at the plate. He strikes out, and he said you could just kind of feel the energy go out of the building, knowing that Jordan Lyles was coming up." Next, he said, for him to draw the walk in that situation, it, the life came right back into the building. He said, and obviously, it set up Eric Kratz to tie the game, and then Orlando Arcia with the walk off. So even just the emotions up and down within that inning, and the walk really changed everything. It was a two-strike base hit for Kratz as well. Yeah, curve ball, yeah, single into center field. Yelich hits it hard into left center field. That is way back, and it is gone. A frozen rope out of here. Christian Yelich does it again. One nothing Brewers on Yelich's 23rd home of the season. Well, you're not going to see too many opposite field home runs leave the ballpark any faster than that one. He hit that like a right handed pull hitter. Straight as a string out of the ballpark, a breaking pitch, Powerball home run count number 23 on a breaking ball. And a ball. Brewers coming up. Jesus due up second in this inning. Yelich will lead the way. Brewers had a chance in the fourth. Had three hits and a walk in that inning, but came away from that fourth inning with just one run. RBI single by Eric Kratz. Billy Hamilton threw out Shaw trying to score a second run. That's how the inning ended. That ball's hammered. Deep center field. Yelich going to send one way back and way gone off the facing of the batter's eye. Christian Yelich, home run number 24 on the season. And it's 6 to 2, Cincinnati. He's in that. Uh home run binge phase right now six of his last nine games he's homered there it is fastball right down the middle of the plate and Yelich very rarely misses a pitch like that and deep into center field off the glass out there 20 consecutive games with a home point one swing of the bat right here changes everything yes it does Yelich at the plate, presented by Blaze Pizza. Solo home run his last time up. Off Di Sclafani, hit a bomb off the facing of the batter's eye. 432 feet to center field.
before you have two strikes, you make sure that pitch starts up around mid thigh because if it starts at the knees, it's going to end up down out of the strike zone. That's where Hughes wants you to swing, and that's where he gets his ground balls. Brewers were knocking at the door in the fourth. Got just one run out of that inning. Two on, two outs. No balls and a strike on Yelich. Down and in. Another base runner in this inning. Aguilar would bat, representing the tying run. The Brewers' best home run hitter. Best home run hitter lately has been this guy. Yelich has hit 13 home runs his last 35 games. Two on, two outs. And the 1 1 is driven deep right field. And this one's going to fly out of here. Three run blast for Christian Yelich. And it's a one run game. His second homer of the game. Number 25 on the year. What a rocket that was. My goodness. Just inside that right field foul pole, and the Brewers are back in business. Just like that. How about Christian Yelich? My goodness. A blast. Fastball, middle in. He turns on it. That was a mistake. You saw Barnhart wanted it away. And Yelich turns on it and knocks it out of here. It's a one win game. His first career multi homer game. And the Brewers have the tying run on with the power hitting Yelich coming up. Yelich at the plate presented by Blaze Pizza. Two for two, two singles. He's pushing his way near the top of that National League batting title. And that one's driven deep right field. And Christian Yelich has done it again. A two run home run for Yelich. The Brewers go back on top on Yelich's 26 home run of the season. Goodness, you believe it? Almost a carbon copy of the home run he hit last night off of Jared Hughes, right down the right field line, and a two run blast to give the Brewers a lead again. My goodness, how hot is he? Three for three. Fastball in, and look at the way he's able to pop those hips open. That keeps this ball fair. A line drive bullet inside the right field foul pole. Brewers happy because Kristen Yelich now comes up with the bases loaded. And he hits left handers just fine. Part of his 316 batting average. Came into today second in the National League. Another ball, 1 and 0. Against lefties, 336 for Yelich. And six homers. So he's got some sluggy percentage in that 336 batting average, 21 RBIs. And this is low, 2 and 0. Who is doing a good job tonight or today of being patient at the plate? Making the Nationals throw strikes. Collins has not thrown a strike. Yelich does not have a grand slam in his career yet in the majors. Base is loaded for him right now and a 2 0 count. And this one rips center field. Harper goes back to the wall. It's gone. A grand slam for Kristen Yelich's his first career and the Brewers opening up this game here in the fifth inning. My goodness that guy what more can this guy do Kristen Yelich. Hey you're bringing a lefty against this guy I'm not sure you're doing yourself any favors. Seven home runs now against lefties. A grand slam here today all this coming with two outs. The Brewers have batted around here in the fifth. Christian Yelich drives one to the opposite field. Big fly, two home runs. A seven run fifth inning for the Brewers. 
guy's got MVP written all over him. Yelich has gotten on base in 23 uh, consecutive games now. 27 home runs he's hit this year. 16 of those have come since the All-Star break. That one's hammered. Center field. That's way back. Got a chance and it is gone. Yelich number 28 for nothing Brewers. Now that one didn't take long to get out of here. Goodness. You guys something else. At the top of his game right now, Christian Yelich, 28th home run, 86 runs batted in, 24 consecutive games on base. Change up, change up away, trying to get away from him. He waits back nicely, hits a line drive bullet out of here. With Yelich at the plate, what a tandem these two have been, Kane and Yelich. Having a chat with Matt Arnold, the Brewers assistant general manager, on the field before the game. And I was praising him and David Stearns for going out and making these deals this offseason. But these two have been better than advertised, and they were advertised pretty heavily. Yeah. They came in with big credentials, but uh, it's not often that you know two guys come over with expectations and they both exceed them. And they have. Every aspect of the game. That's yeah. why the Brewers are in the position they're in. Arnold was raving about these two players off the field as well. Their presence in the clubhouse, in the dugout, with the community, doing everything you could want from a ball player. Both under contract for a while. Kane just signed a free agent deal, a four year contract. And of course, Yelich already under contract. With the Miami Marlins when he was acquired. That's one of the reasons the Brewers gave up as much as they did. Four players, all prospects, including their top overall prospect in Lewis Brinson, came at a cost. Yelich comes in with an OPS of 932. He's top five in a lot of major categories in the National League. OPS, he's fourth in the NL. Kane's got a big lead at first. And Yelich takes a ball. Just missed 95, cranking it up a little bit with two strikes. And hits total bases, so that means he's not just a. Uh, you know, hitting dribblers into the outfield. He's got some slugging percentage attached to all those hits. Batting average runs. 2 2 the count. The other thing these two do, Kane and Yelich, and they will flip flop in the lineup occasionally as well. Yelich has hit leadoff some this year. But they will get into a lot of deep counts. They see a ton of pitches per plate appearance. So here is Chris Archer. 13 pitches into his start tonight. Does not have an out yet. He's got a runner at first. And a 2 2 count on Yelich. He went 3 2 on Kane. Can be maddening for a pitcher to try to get through an order. And now it's 3 2 on Yelich. You know, they don't uh, swing out of the zone all that often. So you wonder if Kane's going to take off. Francisco Cervelli has been tremendous in throwing out base stealers. He's throwing out runners at a 45% clip this year. That's pretty good. 19 out of 42. To run with caution with that guy behind home plate. Well, he wants the slider to be a good pitch to run on. And Kane takes off, and Yelich hits one in the air to center field. On the run is Marte. He is at the wall, and there she goes. Two-run blast. Christian Yelich. Number 29 on the year. And the Brewers strike quickly tonight. 
against Chris Archer. And just incredible power for that guy. Breaking pitch. Off the batter's eye. Here it is. Slider down the middle, 87 miles an hour, and Archer knew it right away as soon as he heard contact. Kane knew it too. He slowed down. Home run number 29 for Yelich. One down here for Kristen Yelich. Yeah, had that terrific game on Wednesday against the Cubs at Wrigley. Three hits, big home run in the ninth. Yeah, he's been a, a nice addition, Curtis Granderson. So Ryan Braun on the bench here tonight to start things out. Greg Council loads him up with the lefties. Three of the first four batters are going to be left handed hitters and Yelich sends this one center field back to the wall and it's out of here. A home run for Christian Yelich number 30 on the season and just that fast Milwaukee's out in front one to nothing. This guy's amazing. I mean it seems like. A lot of his home runs have come in that direction. The pitch it looked like it was kind of middle in, middle to down the middle of the plate. And pulled the hands and shot it into center field. Wow. Now he's got that dugout fired up here tonight. Christian Yelich has now reached base safely in 30 straight ball games. Now Christian Yelich, nobody out, runner at first. Yelich launches right field, got a chance. This one is a home run. It's gone just inside the foul pole. Number 31 for Yelich. Two run blast makes it 4 nothing Milwaukee. Chance of MVP raining down on Christian Yelich. Through the gauntlet he goes with his 31st home run of the year. Now RBI is 90 and 91. Well, what can you say that hasn't been said about Christian Yelich? Just a money player. Knocks one out of here on a changeup. Able to keep it fair. He's out in front just a bit, but. And once away, he keeps those hands down, down and through, and able to keep it fair, just fair down the line. Well, the Brewers couldn't have a better guy at the plate. He might be the best guy in the big leagues to bat in this situation to try to produce a run. Can't even call him hot anymore. I mean, we did the first month or so after the All-Star break, but he is just elite at this point. This is a sustained Hot streak at the plate and he launches one deep right center field. There she goes. A three run home run. Christian Yelich. This guy, he's something else. Number 32 on the year. Give him 96 RBIs and the Brewers up 4 nothing in the second inning. He's not the MVP. I'll tell you what, it's going to be close, but this guy is unbelievable. Coming up big when his team needs him most. And that was no cheapy right there. Three more RBIs now 96 on the season and he didn't waste any time. Look like a slider slider down the middle. You can see the reaction to Diaz. Check it out. He's going to turn around and ask for another baseball as soon as contact is made. Well it feels like there is a day coming soon when there will be no more walking. Of batters to get to Yelich. I'm surprised he did it this time. Yelich hits lefties well, and he is launching one deep to center field. Bader going back at the wall. This one is up, and it is gone. Christian Yelich with a three run home run. Number 33. My goodness. How about a six RBI game 
for the MVP of the National League. Yeah, no kidding. Well, the Brewers uh, put a lid on this one tonight. First pitch from Cecil. They walk Kane to Pisty Yellow to hits over 320 against lefties. When will they learn? My goodness. What a scene for Christian Yelich. Announced for his first at bat, a standing ovation and chance of MVP. What a road trip he had. The Brewers go five and one on the road trip. Yelich drove in 11 runs in six games. Six RBIs in a single game. And Yelich sends it high in the air, right center field. And it is gone. Christian Yelich with a two run blast. And right away, the Brewers put the tallies on the board. And a second half that he's putting together, unlike most of us have ever seen before. Incredible work from Christian Yelich. Yet another big moment here at Miller Park. Walked his first time up. And until that keen infield single had been the only Brewer base runner. Still, ball not hit out of the infield yet against Norris. Five strikeouts, one walk. Two pop ups to second base and a ground out to short. Garden Hire has his outfielders very deep, trying to cut off the extra base hit. And a strike to Yelich. 0 oh, 2 the count. Last night, with the Brewers down 3 0, bottom of the first, before there was an out for the Brewers offensively. Christian Yelich popped number 34, a two run home run. He has gaudy numbers in this second half. The season numbers are strong, but he's found a new gear in the second half. Well, Since the All Star break, tops in all these categories, all the major categories, and the 23 homers and the 63 RBIs, about an RBI a game, just jumps off the page. Well, the thing that, that blew me away. Is that that 23 home runs in the second half and his career high, career high in a season was 21. That was in 2016. As a member of the Miami Marlins in that pitcher friendly park. You know, in the last at bat, Norris had him one and two ahead in the count. Yelich was able to work a walk. Going over to keep Kane close this is a great time for Kane to run. Kane with 30 steals on the year, a career best for him. Stays put. Yelich takes a ball. 2-2 Two -two now. Yelich just completed a six-game road trip with the Brewers through Pittsburgh and St. Louis. Drove in 11 runs. He's currently on a nine game hit streak. Two and two. Yelich just got a piece. That's a nasty pitch right there. You know you're going well when you're able to fight those off. And you're not going to be able to do anything with that. But what it does allow you to get another pitch, you see that it's a cutter slider. It's just able to battle. That's a Norris. Norris is going to give you a fastball slider. Another 2-2. Two -two. Ball three. Ryan Braun do next. Yelich has a chance to do what no other Milwaukee Brewer has ever done. That's win a batting title. Had some pretty big names finish second in batting races in the 80s. Cecil Cooper, Robin Young, Paul Molitor all finished second. Yelich at the top of the board. 
in a big spot. 3 2. Runner goes. Kane. Yelich. Able to stay alive. With this second half surge in home runs, he is tied for the Brewers lead in homers. Tied for third in the National League, and only Javier Baez with more RBIs in the National League at this point than Yelich, who's driven in 106. Kane will get a head start. Three and two the count. Norris deals, and Yelich in the air. Deep left center field. Way back. Goodbye. He's done it again. Christian Yelich to the opposite field. A two run home run. Number 35. And the Brewers are within a run. Tonight they tie the Cubs in the National League Central with one to play tomorrow. Christian Yelich, who hit a key two-run home run in the third inning, will lead off for the Brewers. Daniel Stumpf back on the mound. Impressive stranding a runner at second base in the sixth inning. And he starts Yelich with strike one. Tigers had a 3 0 lead when Yelich hit that two run homer in the third. Brewers led 5 3 at one point. And there's Yelich deep to right. And this one is gone. Christian Yelich has done it again. Change. Brewers lead. As Christian Yelich steps to the plate. Acquired by the Brewers from the Marlins back on January 25th. How about his numbers in the second half following the All Star break? And his final numbers this season. Challenge for the Triple Crown. What a year. People questioned the Brewers when they made the trade. Said Yelich, ah, oh. you saw all the tweets and the reaction from fans. Ah, oh, he's just an average player. First pitch, deep center field. Blackman looks up. It is gone. A two-run shot off the bat of Christian Yelich. Two nothing Brewers. Yelich. First pitch, hack and strike one. 
Walker Bueller pitched that game number 163 at Dodger Stadium against the Rockies. Went six and two thirds, allowed one hit in a five to two win on the first of October to give his Dodgers the division championship into right center. Back at the wall, it is gone. Yelich is first. Milwaukee takes a first inning lead. First of the NLCS. And have these Brewers been waiting for that against the Dodgers? Well, it's really the first fastball he's timed up. And what a time for him to time one up here in game seven. This ball I think clears the wall by two inches it seems like we gave an unbelievable effort to get over there and if he could have got there in time I believe he would have caught it but he had a long ways to go. Yelich went deep once against Colorado here's Braun after the first pitch strike one and he gets his first of this series his first RBI and it cleared wow by not much. I mean Puig's in a full sprint and that's what happens when you can't get back to the wall the time you jump.